Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the marginal revenue function from your demand function. So let's start. In my example, I'm going to focus on this demand curve here. Q is equal to 4 minus P divided by 3. So thinking about you guys at home, you might have your demand curve in terms of the price. So P on the left hand side instead of Q like I have here. And that's fine. And in fact, for reasons that will become clearer later, I'm going to prefer to have my demand curve expressed with P on the left hand side. So that is actually the first thing that I'm going to do. So first to do this, I'm just going to do some algebraic manipulation. I'll take away four from each side. The fours cancel there. Then I multiply both sides by negative three. That's good. The negatives cancel and three of three is equal to one. So we get negative three Q plus 12 is equal to P. I'm gonna put P on the left-hand side and the positive first. So we're going to get P is equal to 12 minus three Q. Okay, really good. So let's note up here that the marginal revenue function, that's the thing we are trying to find. Well, we can find that if we take the derivative of our total revenue function with respect to quantity. That's the rule that we're going to use. And what it tells us really is that what we need now is to find our total revenue function. So then we can take the derivative. Now total revenue is just all of the revenue the firm gets, which can be found by multiplying the price of the good P by the amount that we're producing Q. The next thing I'm going to do is multiply out the P variable in our total revenue function by using our demand function. This is going to mean that my total revenue function is only expressed in terms of the quantity variable and it makes taking the derivative really easy. So substituting our demand function for P, we get total revenue is equal to, well, 12 minus 3Q all multiplied by Q. Just expanding my brackets here, I get 12Q minus 3Q squared. So now taking the derivative of this thing is really easy because our function is just in terms of the variable Q. That's the variable uh, that we are taking the derivative with respect to, right? So let's do that and I can do the working in green down here. Well, our rule is that the marginal revenue is equal to the derivative of our total revenue with respect to quantity which is equal to just using the power rule and that's equal to 12 minus 6q. And there is a trick here that you guys should know about. In this example, I've used a linear or straight line demand function. And I've done this because linear demand functions follow a pattern that is really useful when finding marginal revenue. We can see the pattern once we compare our original demand curve expressed in terms of P with our marginal revenue curve that we've found here. You can see actually comparing the two functions, the intercept or constant term is exactly the same, but the coefficient on our Q variable has been doubled in the case of the marginal revenue function. The trick is then when we want to find marginal revenue and our demand curve is linear, we can find the marginal revenue curve just by keeping the same intercept as the demand curve and just doubling the slope. The only thing we have to make sure of here is that when we express our demand curve, it has to be in terms of the price or the vertical axis variable. That means when we're isolating the constant term, that is the vertical axis intercept and the coefficient on Q will be the slope coefficient. Okay, I hope that helped. I hope you guys are having a good time studying economics. Please like and subscribe, check out my other videos. Hope you guys are having a great day.